lovely equipment from the rain. But it's not only the zebra here, there's actually a bachelor herd of Inyala just to the right of them. There's about four of them and they're looking lovely and they're quite happily feeding with each other this morning. They've come out of the drainage system where they would have kept nice and cool, nice and cool, nice and warm away from the chilly wind that was out and about. I can tell you it was cold here last night. We were all wrapped up in our duvets and I'm sure that these lovely antelope and the zebra would have done well the best that they could have done while they've been out here. But isn't he impressive? Look at the size of their horns. They are really, really, really lovely boys, especially that one. <clears throat> he is very, very big. But all wet and a bit miserable this morning. But I suppose you can't let that stop you first thing as the day has started. Otherwise, well, otherwise you'll go hungry. So I suppose they need to eat. And Craig was actually watching the zebra very closely just a moment ago, and he'd noticed that the zebra are constantly twitching. And I'm sure that you can see that too. Tails swatting. And like we saw with the warthog, there were a couple of insects and things flying around. And now that the rain has let off, it's just a very, very faint drizzle. I'm sure that they're all biting these poor, poor zebra. Hello, guys. Is that a tick on that one's eye? Can you see that, Craig? Looks like it. No, it's not. It's a spot. That's actually a beautiful little spot that it has got. It made it look like it was a, a tick of some sort. And it's just so nice to see these uh, zebra in green grass for a change. They're looking lovely and healthy, nice and fat. In the greatest condition. And they're not too, uh, not too afraid of us this morning either, which is really nice. I always find that with the smaller animals like zebra, impala, and yala, they tend to move off from the vehicles. They're not quite as relaxed as what the big cats become. And like elephants become quite relaxed around the vehicles too. But these guys are a little bit more on the chilled side today, which is lovely. Thank you very much, zebra. Are you missing a friend? Because Jamie thinks that the, well, the lions have eaten the zebra. So I wonder if they are missing... One and I'm really surprised. I, I can't believe that Jamie picked up those lions on the eastern corner of the Buffalo's or Cut Line. That blows my mind completely because they, they must they've done the biggest loop. They've come around camp onto quarantine and then they've come from that side. Remember they came from Buffalo's and now they're back down that end again. But it seems as though Miss Patterson has managed to catch up with the lions again. So before they pull their very famous disappearing acts of walking into thick vegetation, let's go take another look.